happy. Yo, so third day in Ethiopia, and then we're gonna see a lot of beautiful places. So this is one of the transportation. Cool. Okay. Okay. So there are options when it comes to <laughs> there are options when it comes to picking a taxi. Uh, we have the six seater or the seven. Then we had a four seater. So we have how many are we four? Yeah, we have five. Uh, okay. Yeah, four plus our tour guide. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so when I came here, transportation, lights. We we have the normal taxis like this one, but then you can still order it on a this thing called ride, just like we have Uber and Bolt and Yango in Ghana, and then they also have Trotro. Yes, I thought it was only in Ghana that we have Trotro. You know. I know, but over here, one, one beautiful thing is this. Before you order the ride, you can um, choose. Can you, you have options with the one that the driver speaks English. Mm -hmm. You have options to get a minivan, a big van, a four-seater car. That, that's sweet. That's sweet, yeah. yeah. And their prices. Uh -huh. Their prices are super cool. Yeah. If you want to do destination in East Africa, okay, for so far, it's a question on your budget list. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, hey, we're going to enjoy. I'll show you more when we get to the side. Hello Echo, this is Rahel from Ethiopia. Merry Christmas to you and to your builder families. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Now I chanced on another video of the people chanting, singing during Christmas. I think this is beautiful. What's up everybody? Thank you very much. This is Sepko Simpson. Happy New Year to all Ethiopians. Yes, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all Ethiopians. So I was watching a video yesterday and I realized that 26th of April 2014. Yes, I know you'll be confused. Hey, we are in 2022 but you're saying 2014. You know, I learned that Ethiopians have, I think, another calendar. Um, an indigenous one that they use. And they are in 2014 now. It's a little bit funny, but I'll need you if you're an Ethiopian and you're watching this. I'll be very glad if you, you know, explain a bit further. Whilst you are in 2014, so like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to all Ethiopians. And if this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. So last two months I was in Ethiopia and I loved it. I mean, the people, the food, the beautiful women, yes, I mean women all the time. We have to say, you know, Ethiopian women are beautiful and they are very slim. I barely saw someone who wasn't slim, like, you know, no. But I think 
because of the food that they eat, they eat natural food. Like here in Ghana, we eat a lot of natural food. Just that the beer and certain things make some of us like really, should I say big? Anyway, aside that, um, I want to say shout outs to Israel Abebe. He's been updating me of what is happening in Ethiopia. Um, I've seen a hashtag, no more. And I went through the hashtags and I realized that there is too much white supremacy out there yes too much white supremacy the white want to tell us what we should do and how we should do it now fast forward when i was growing up watching tv i never thought there was a place in the u.s or in canada or in the uk that looks like a ghetto i never thought there are places that were dirty i never thought there were you know homeless people sleeping by the streets and all that why because whatever that they portrayed to us here was that everything was beautiful there is a saying in ghana the best comes from the west um i know there's a region in ghana called western region and that phrase basically refers to the western region but i'm still looking at where the phrase really came from the best comes from the west so everything that comes from the west is best even here in ghana when you buy a locally made product and then you buy a foreign or a western product people will see you to be more civilized when you purchase white products or western products they look down on local product look at uh one of our indigenous brilliant guys called um Osafo Kantaka. he's made cars but Ghanaians don't want to purchase it because it's, oh, this car is not good, it won't be good. But Ghanaians will go out there and buy Toyota and buy Chevrolet and buy Chrysler and buy uh, uh, Hyundai and buy all these cars just because they think that the locally made products are bad. So back to what I was saying, the televisions and the, the radio and the internet was really portraying good stuff about the West. Now, it is... The vice versa when you go to the when you go to the west so what i've realized is that the media in the west really portray africa in a different dimension why do i say that there are beautiful places beautiful activities beautiful people and everything that is happening here in africa but they care less they rather put out the war that is happening in the congo happening in either Sierra Leone or the Gambia or Ghana or Nigeria or this or this or that they rather want to show you the hungry people sitting somewhere on the streets they really want to show you how bad Africa is so they put Africa in a situation that anybody around the world the other continent sees Africa to be like yo what is really happening there but there are some cool stuff that you can bring out I think that is what Ethiopians are now trying to fight the Western media. Before we left to Rwanda, uh, there was this news in the Western media that um, there's, there's curfew, there's this, there's this in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Meanwhile, we were staying in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, and there was nothing like that uh, in the news, getting people scared about something that is not happening. And that was really bad. I had a lot of messages from my friends. Hey, Echo, what is going on? Are you okay? I had that as well. I was like, yo, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. And it's interesting that in the night or in the evening, you'll find the police patrol searching cars by cars. Because they already know that, hey, this is our country. And we need to make sure that security is tight. Forgetting about there's a war or there's an upcoming war, whatever. So this video basically is to tell you that Ethiopia is a beautiful country. I love Ethiopia. I love the food. I love the people. My friends that I took to Ethiopia are like, Echo, this year we have to go back to Ethiopia because it's, 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 it's awesome in Ethiopia.
Day two, we are late. Every day, we are late. <laughs> Hello?